Hey, Frank and Ahern, privacy expert and blackmail strategist. I'm going to talk about ending relationships, you know, extreme relationships, toxic relationships, you know, an extramarital affair that you're having difficulty getting out of to a sugar daddy situation where you are, you know, paying the person X amount of dollars a month and, you know, keeping them happy with money to a, you know, grinder type secret relationship that if it ever got out, it would destroy your life to a long-term escort situation. So the, the problem with these relationships is what they all have in common is nobody ever thinks of an exit. They just get involved, you know, two feet right in, have fun, enjoy the pleasure, you know, and it's new and they just, you know, immerse themselves into this thing. But nobody ever considers, how do I end it? And what would happen or how would the other person react you know, when I approach that point of wanting to end it. And that's where people fall short because, you know, these types of relationships, sometimes you find yourself in the middle of blackmail. Sometimes it's stalking. Sometimes it's emotional where it's an affair and the person fell in love with you, you know, whatever it may be, but you're in a situation where you just don't know how the person's going to react. And every, everybody I've dealt with who's been involved in a sugar daddy or an escort or an alternative lifestyle situation, never expected blackmail, never expected the person to go off the rails, but it happens. The best way to get out is, which what, is what I do with my clients is to pre-plan the exit. What do they know? What do they have on you? Do they have photos, videos, text messages? You know, do they have, you know, records of, you know, financial transactions? You know, do they, do they live close to you? Is there proximity? Would they be the type of person who comes to your home, your job? You know, we evaluate the whole situation and then we decide on the best way to approach the exit. And typically how that happens is we switch them to my number and I become my client and I deal with the person directly. How these situations become resolved, let me just clarify, not necessarily stalking, it's a whole other ball of wax, but how these situations typically resolve is through exhausting the situation. Because most people do not know how to blackmail. They figure they threaten someone, they're gonna expose someone, I want money, but you don't pay them, all they can do is threaten again. Now it doesn't mean you should say no, how blackmail is dealt with is stalling, exhausting the request. I don't have the cash right now. I need some time. You know, you, you really kind of took me for a loop here. I need to wrap my head around it. I need a few days. So the idea is to just throw a stone in their desires. But before the exit, the question is, is this going to be a money blackmailer? Is this somebody who's going to be pissed off and angry and they want revenge? Is this somebody who's going to turn into a stalker? You know, what are they going to become? Because then you have to figure out the best way of dealing with them. You know, is it a situation where the person can become violent, show up at your home, put your family in danger? So there's a lot to take into consideration. If you need help exiting a relationship such as this, my name is Frank M. Ahern. I can help, I can resolve your situation, get you out, unexposed. If you have any questions, reach out and be safe.